In this screencast, we will discuss and demonstrate the basic concepts of Uniface. Uniface is a highly productive environment for developing, integrating, deploying and running component-based platform-independent applications, no matter if they are client-server or rich internet applications. Uniface productive development environment is due to many reasons. To start, it follows a model-driven development approach. The definition of data structure, default application behavior, and business logic are held in the model and kept in a central repository. These definitions are subsequently inherited by components, making it easy and fast to construct and maintain applications. Templates are development objects that make it possible to reuse and dynamically inherit object properties and code. Templates improve productivity and enforce consistency, especially in a team development environment, and it increases the maintainability of an application because the code only needs to be changed once in one place. Resources that are common throughout the application, such as menus, multilingual messages, images, and so on, can be defined as global objects and kept inside application libraries, again promoting reusability. Uniface processing is event-driven. Components interact with each other on the basis of certain events taking place. When a user performs an action with Uniface, a piece of code is fired that in turn sets off another series of events throughout the application. Event-driven processing enables programs to be kept small, modular, easy to maintain and simple to reuse. Uniface powerful fourth generation language has been designed to reduce programming efforts and the cost of software development. In combination with Uniface event-driven processing, it enables the construction of complex mission-critical applications in less than half of the time that it would take with languages such as .NET or Java. Uniface enables the creation of multi-tier applications by the use of specific presentation, logic and data access components. Uniface components communicate with each other via signatures, but in the same way they can also call in and call out to a number of different technologies, such as mainframe-based products, web services, COM, Java and others. This enables the creation of composite applications and service-oriented architectures, and it makes it possible to use Uniface in complex systems that maintain critical enterprise data supporting vital business processes. Uniface applications are infrastructure independent, what means that they can run on many combinations of platform and databases, including mobile devices, without the need of recompiling the runtime objects. Uniface is also a highly scalable environment. A multi-thread process called uRouter manages Uniface servers, which are shared servers from multiple clients responsible for accessing remote resources or executing remote components. The Uniface uRouter is responsible for starting and stopping those servers, load and balancing them and handling messages between processes. Let's now open the Uniface development environment so we can see how those elements can be combined to quickly create a multi-tier maintenance application to maintain customers and their addresses. To support the application that I'm going to build, I already have three business models with several entities inside, such as address, customer and so on. Here we can define the entity properties, such as their locking strategy, or modify existing definitions. Here we also define their fields and their properties. And back on the entity level, you can define the key fields for an entity and the relationship between different entities. Uniface also allows you to generate table and relationship scripts for the creation of the physical database tables and because Uniface is platform independent, you have a choice of a number of different databases. It is also possible to create an alias for an entity. This is called a functional subtype. They don't physically exist, but they allow you to specialize an entity for a specific purpose. In this case, we have two functional subtypes for the entity article. Uniface is an event-driven application. So the read trigger for each one of those functional subtypes has been customized to read only articles where availability of the article is true or not true. 
As you can see, the PROC language is extremely succinct and powerful. The Diagram Editor allows you to create and view diagrams of your application model and edit its objects. You can have many diagrams for each model and you can filter on what entities you want to display. You can include relationships to entities and functional subtypes coming from one or many models. In case your model is too large, you can use the Overview box to facilitate navigation or the Zoom to Fit option. We are now going to create a new form based on the Model Define Entity article. We will not use a component template at this stage. We start by painting the Entity article and selecting all the fields available. Note that the labels were defined as messages in a central library to allow this form to run in different languages. We will adjust the position of the fields, compile and run the form to retrieve data from the database. Once the data is displayed, you will see that the labels are in English and that the price field will not display the pound sign. I will now go into the entity definitions on the model level and in the format trigger for the price field, I will add some PROC code to add the appropriate currency sign depending on the language that the application is run on. We will save the changes, compile the form and run it again. This time the price field will display the pound sign. We'll now go into the configuration file for this application and change the language code from English to Brazilian. We'll restart the development environment and run the form again without recompiling it. The application labels are now in Portuguese and the price field displays the Brazilian currency sign. Another reason why Uniface is productive is the ability to create templates on several levels. The field interface templates allow you to define the physical storage format for the field in the database. With the field syntax template, you can define how a user can enter data in the fields. And with the field layout template, you can define how Uniface formats the data in a field for display. You can bundle all these three types of templates together to create one single field template. If we navigate to the entity address, field telephone, with a few clicks I can assign the field template F phone to it. This will automatically assign all the three types of templates to the phone field. Going one step further, Uniface also enables the creation of component templates. Those can be created for forms, session services, server pages and so on, and they utilize entities that are specific for each type of component. Those are called component subtypes. Component subtypes are generated on the model level. Here we are going to create component subtypes for all the entities in the ACMECUST model. If I now go into the entity address, I can see all the component subtypes that were generated. Let's now have a look at the component templates that will be used in the maintenance application that we will create. This is the form template that we will use as the basis for the presentation tier. It has two generic entities and fields, layout definition and collection operations. Another template that we'll use is the session service template. It contains code for the load and the save operation through the use of include procs.